This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. The good thing is it's a couple years into the deal, so it won't be nearly as bad as it would be right at the beginning of the deal if you did it like after the first year. That's the good thing. But I'm going to look it up, and I'm pretty sure that the Dolphins are going to take a brutal cap hit this year if they do release him. Because I think the reality is you want to release him after next season. I think that's how it goes. But I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Uh, 22. Well, uh, the potential you can get out in 23, and it is a $14 million cap hit. So it's it's still a hit, but it goes down from 20.6, which it's at right now, which you can't do it right now. You have to do it next year in 23. So the potential out is after this offseason, actually, of $14 million. After 23, it goes, it, it stays at 14. In 24, it goes down to 10 million. So you're going to take a cap hit one way or the other. But I think, yeah, you might want to wait one more year if you can because it goes down to 10. It's 14.8. It's nearly $15 million when you do when you do release them in the offseason. So it's a big cap hit. Now, like I told you, it does go down from the year before. You know, if you release them this year, it's 20.6. If you release them after March, in the in the in the in the starting calendar year of 2023 in the NFL season, then you'll take a 14 million dollar hit into next year. So you're going to have to trade. And by the way, his his uh, his base salary is 13.5 next year. That's why his you know his base salary. You know his base salary was 1.1 million this year because of the signing bonuses. So they played with it. It's interesting. He had an $11 million base salary in his first year, $14 million in his second year, and in his third year, it's at $1.1 million. Pretty creative. So this is why they're setting up probably to let him go in the offseason. That's probably what's going to happen. So, oh, wow. God damn it. How stupid am I? I just figured it out. He's taking care of himself for next year. That's why he's so particular about returning. Because if he returns at 85, 80%, 90, re-injures himself, he knows the team will release him, and then he won't have an offseason and free agency to visit other teams because his value will be down. But if he waits till he's 100%, goes out on the field and is able to perform for a couple of games, teams will see him, he'll look good, he'll be released in the offseason, and he'll be able to go visit and work out and be healthy. But if he doesn't come back at 100% and he re-injures himself now and he knows he's going to get released, holy shit, I figured it all out. This is exactly what he's doing. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Now I know what the game is being played now. See? We're thinking play here, play there, this, that. No, 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 no. This guy has moved on to next year. This guy is trying to set himself up to just play a couple of games this year to showcase to be healthy so he can be a free agent next year. He's not really worried that much about getting up like Tua. Like Tua. Tua will kill himself for a first down. Tua will kill himself to win no matter what. He'll come back from a concussion. He'll do whatever it takes. He doesn't give a shit. He'll wrap you know, titanium wires around his ankles, you know, oh, hip, no, I'm coming back. No, no, this guy's fearless. Byron Jones is doing business with the Dolphins. We have just done some investigative report right here. 
right here, we figured out exactly what the plan for Byron Jones is. He and his agent know they're going to get released. They got to prepare for next year. It's not about the Dolphins in 2022, ladies and gentlemen. It's about Byron Jones and where he'll go in 2023 after he's released by the Dolphins starting, I think, I think they'll do it after March, right? I think that's how it goes. Or maybe even after June to maybe break up the salary, the, the, the cap hit into two years. That might be a thing. So, yeah, that's what's going on now. Now, that's what I'm thinking now. 